There's a big difference between how an electronic circuit breaker operates and how conventional circuit breakers function. The claim to fame of electronic circuit breakers is that they can be set up to trip in a few milliseconds when they see a short circuit. They can even be set up to trip quickly when they see a resistive short circuit, as might happen when there's a problem at the end of a long run of cable. Electronic circuit breakers can give this sort of fast reaction to short circuits because they generally sense the amount of current flowing in the circuit they protect through the use of a current sensing resistor. The current sensing resistor is in series with the load being protected, but it has a low value, so it doesn't affect the operation of the protected circuit. When current flows through the sense resistor, the breaker circuit senses the resulting voltage across the resistor. If the voltage is higher than preset levels, the breaker circuit disconnects the load. This sequence can be set to happen on a scale ranging between milliseconds to a few seconds. It's useful to contrast the current sensing action of an electronic breaker with that of conventional thermal magnetic breakers. The main drawback of conventional thermal magnetic breakers is a slow reaction time compared to that of electronic breakers. It may take anywhere from about 10 seconds to about two minutes for a conventional breaker to react to an overcurrent. The slower response arises because of the sensing mechanism. A thermal magnetic circuit breaker contains a bimetallic strip. A bimetallic strip is made of two dissimilar metals bonded together. The two metals have different thermal expansion qualities, so the bimetallic bends when heated. As current through the bimetallic rises, so does the temperature. It takes a while for heat to build up sufficiently to bend the bimetallic, hence the longer reaction time to overcurrents. By design, the thermal response is not immediate because there are electrical devices that work with currents above the rated value as part of their normal operation, but only for brief periods of time. For example, an electric motor may draw five to eight times its rated current during startup, but the thermal magnetic circuit breaker doesn't trip because the inrush current only lasts for fractions of a second. The magnetic part of thermal magnetic breakers comes into play in the case of large short circuit current. The current flowing through the contacts also flows through an induction coil. At fault current levels, the coil produces enough electromagnetic induction to create a magnetic field that trips the breaker almost instantaneously. Though magnetic tripping takes place quickly, point to note is that it takes large electric currents to generate a sufficiently large magnetic field for tripping. That means resistive short circuits generally don't pull enough current to actuate the magnetic trip mechanism. A further point to note is that electronic circuit breakers also can provide the same kind of time delays before tripping as conventional breakers, but they can do so more precisely. The reason is that they have a built-in processor that constantly monitors the current sensing resistor. It uses the information about the current flowing through the sense circuit to make decisions about whether to trip the breaker. So the processor can, for example, watch for the time signature of a motor inrush current and prevent the breaker from tripping from this temporary overload. For similar reasons, the built-in processor can assist in troubleshooting in the event of difficulties with the protected circuit. It can, for example, keep track of when overloads arose and the specific time signature of the problem, helpful for determining the ultimate source of the overload. For more videos like this, go to designworldonline.com.